sugar, spice, and everything nice. <laughs>
least he can finally sniff his own butt and bite his own tail. You know, I wonder if he was real. I wonder if he'd be able to see my dead dog that I buried in my backyard. Shine, beloved Reed, I love you. But now I have Leopolis. But I still love a shiny whiny. Anyway, this is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just stop. Okay. Oh no, there's a crow standing on top of his head. Does that mean he? Does, does that mean the little kid's gonna die? Oh my gosh. Does that mean he's gonna? What is that? <gasps> what's happening right now? I don't even know what's going on. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, he's seeing stuff from the past. No. He's seen stuff from the past. This is like a, mm, like one of them, one of them crazy movies. But yeah, stop motion. I think that's what I did. I say that, guys. I think that's what it, that's what it's called, the animation style. So basically, he freaked out on stage in the middle of like the performance this or whatever. Is where it stops. And yeah, everybody was talking about him. In front him. of your family, but not the whole freaking town. There's not going to be any more talking to ghosts. Or grandmas, or, or what is it now? I think it's trees. Ugh. Mm, yeah. You. Oh no! It looks like he's peeing himself to the other kid, which is also his bully. <gasps> but he's seeing like actual ghosts and stuff, though. So. Oh! Oh yeah, he did die. <laughs> you died? Yeah. But I got unfinished business here. Oh. Can you use another stall? My ghost isn't going anywhere until I pass on my duty to another. I kind of knew he was going to die, though. <laughs> and that like, I did know be. that. We do this. I, I swear. You, you mean like the F word? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> You said okay, you mean okay. like the F word? I mean, no, that's not what we're talking I about. Promise. Draw a twist, fat boy. This has nothing to do with you, so keep out of my way. Or what? Or, uh, I'll put you in the boobs. I don't have boobs. These are pectorals. <laughs> Ow, my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's in the house of that dead man, in the dead man with in the toilet. Yeah, the, now he's in that guy's house, and he has to get that book. And apparently he has to read it to the witch before midnight or whatever so that she doesn't come out and terrorize the town or whatever. I don't know. I really don't even remember this movie, but it's actually way more interesting than I thought it was going to be. So. so now all this stuff is happening, which is pretty bad. It's the witch, I think, and all the souls, maybe? I don't know. So now the people are rising. But these are only the seven pilgrims that hunted the witch, I think. So, yeah. Crazy, oh my gosh. Kill them. Slumber party's over, dorks. Um, can I help you? Hell yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, this is not Disney because oh, they're doing too much of it. Here. Uh, okay. okay, she's doing too much. I'm like, will you help me, please? Like, you know what you're doing. Uh, Look Norman at trouble? What? <laughs> Yeah, Norman needs some help. Norman, Norman, Norman is struggling right now. Yeah. Oh, so the reason why the spell that he was supposed to be reading didn't work was because he was reading the book in the wrong place. He's supposed to be reading it at the witch's grave, which he was not. He was reading at the seven at the seven pilgrims' grave. So that's why it didn't work. So yeah. They are going so slow. You can tell that they some zombies, cause look at that. So he basically just hit that zombie because they all went, all went in the car looking for Norman. Hello, so they went to the, the to like the site where Norman was supposed to be, and he just hit one of the little like pilgrim things. He's not so. moving. Yeah. He's still breathing. Okay, he's okay. Mm. So now they're getting chased by the car. 
Yes, yeah, so now they're getting chased by the cops, and they need to figure out whether witch is actually buried. And so they called this girl. They called her. People found guilty of witchcraft weren't considered people anymore. Yeah. Norman, your witch was buried simply as out. Okay, so his whole car just basically broke down. I'm more surprised that that zombie was able to hold on that entire ride because uh -oh. it was so rocky. And basically, they're trying to get to like the town hall because apparently that's where the oh, witch yeah. is probably actually buried. So, yeah. The geeks are in charge. Ugh, whatever. So basically, they think they're gonna attack all the zombies, but they're actually hurting the people. And they all left Norman because they said that he's weird and everything like that. But I don't think that Norman, no, no, no. No, and everybody thinks that he's the one that's summoning the witch, but he's actually trying to get rid of it. <laughs> okay, so the person just electrocuted Norman. And for some reason, I don't know what's happening right now anymore. I'm, I'm lost, y'all. I'm lost. Crimes, execution. <laughs> oh, so now he's he's oh, so now he's seeing everything that the old that the witch to used to see. So I was only was in the past. With fire. Oh, so now he's talking to the zombies. Just a bedtime story. That's it, isn't it? A bedtime story to keep a little girl asleep for another year. And now you need my help because I'm the only one who can read it to her? Yeah, because she, you can talk to God. Here's your book. Oh yeah, he's mad at them because it was a little girl yourself. like I just showed y'all and they killed that little girl. Why did you do it? Of what? Of her. They were scared of her. I believed we were doing what was right. So now all those people outside are burning the people inside, are like burning the things they think that the zombies and stuff are inside, which they technically are, but there are also people in there, so yeah. And then she always rubbing up on him, so. So now, like everybody's finally, you know, the A team is starting to be a team. And. He touched her butt. He's so ooh. Everybody listen up! But she you is thick. Stop <laughs> trying to kill my brother. You're a dog. She got that cute little jumpsuit on. Stop I it. want a jumpsuit. I know like that, that this seems crazy. Believe me, I Yeah, she got it with that. that a I belly bump piercing. He does actually know what he's talking about. All night he's been trying to save you from the witch's curse. Yeah. Yeah. And all that you want and he to got a tattoo. burn and murder stuff. Burn and murder stuff. Just burning and murdering. Yeah, shame on every single one of you. How dare you all? <laughs> he was... So, okay. they're not... You're not dead. So now well, he's talking to the well, witch, no, the I'm dead witch, the dead little girl you're witch. you're a boy. Oh, well, yes, that too. You're not like me at all. Yeah, that's what's going on. So now, it, she's trying to kill him pretty much. I guess, you know, obviously. Which is very terrible. Oh crap. He's barely he's barely making it, y'all. He's barely making it. He's either got freaking foresight or what, but he was dodging those freaking pieces of bark. Like he could have he's lucky what he is. That's what he is. Oh, look at her. Mm. Look at her, she is mad. So now it's getting really intense, y'all. He's telling a story, and you can tell it's getting intense because it's intense music, and I'm going to cut this short because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. So now Norman is talking to the little witch girl, you know, that they killed, and he's trying to get her to remember who she really is and all the love that people, well, some people had for her and stuff like that. Oh, if she wasn't dead, that would be like a cute little, cute little thing, you know? Like, oh, that's so cute. But, you know, she's dead, and... He's alive and she's a witch, you know, witch ghost and, you know, he's alive. So, yeah, that'd, that'd be terrible long distance relationship. Terrible. So now all the zombies are leaving and they're, I guess they're turning into actual ghosts. Oh, oh, that's what they are. Okay. Oh, and now they're gone. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. His dad was just like, well done, son. You did it. Like, I just saved the entire town and that's all I get. Like, okay. Look, she's still that trying to get great, him. Kathy. She's still trying yeah. to get with him. You're gonna love my boyfriend. 
He's like a total chick like <laughs> nut. <laughs> he said you're gonna live with boy. Oh my god, that's a big slap in the face for <laughs> That must be terrible. That, that. <laughs> I'm dead, okay. Well, this is the dad actually believes them and that the grandma's right next to her. Hi, mom. Yeah. Also, oh, now they're all sitting down as a family. What's happening now? Aww. That's the end. <laughs> Well, that's the end of the Octubi movie marathon for day seven. That movie was actually a lot more interesting than I thought it was gonna be. I, I was very excited to see it, of course, but I honestly like, I thought that was a Disney movie. I thought that was Disney. And then when I heard them saying and doing other time, I was like, I was like, this cannot be Disney. I was like, there's no freaking way. It's so, uh, yeah, it was just, it was definitely really good. I can understand why that, why that was such a hit in 2012. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Always leave me suggestions. I'm always open to suggestions. Watch my shorts, like, comment, and subscribe if you want more videos like this. And I'll see you guys for day eight. Goodbye.